I'm Jason Jellius, Michigan Realtor, author of Think Like a Realtor, and an expert media contributor uh, to major media outlets for my real estate expertise. My book is called Think Like a Realtor. It's a little book about buying and selling residential real estate. I offer tips and real world advice. Uh, I also share some experiences um, without the addresses and names of the client, but I share experiences, past experiences about uh, situations that I've been in that could potentially save someone, a home buyer or seller, thousands of dollars when they go to buy or sell a residential home. Well, I, one, I wanted to dispel the myths that all realtors are the same, that all they do is they go out, they put a sign on your house, and they upload it to the computer, and your house sells. And so I wanted to share some distinct factors about how I'm different as a realtor compared to other realtors. And in general, the difference between a real estate agent and a realtor, because there are differences. I also wanted to give people the advice that they need to buy and sell residential real estate effectively. And so I've got years of experience in real estate and I wanted to share this knowledge, get it out of my head and into a printed book, which is actually my favorite medium out there. I share advice that goes into digital format, uh, ebook, audio, but my favorite is a printed book because you can you, you can touch it, you can feel it, you can put it on your bookshelf and reference it reference it fairly quick when you need it. And so I just love the book format. Um, and also too, I wanted to have something that I could give to potential clients um, that I meet. And so I sit down with somebody who's looking to sell their home uh, or even buy a home, um, I give them a copy of my book. And that's so that they can actually get to know me a little bit more and the buying and selling uh, process of residential real estate. And so my main reason was just because I love books and I wanted to really, really put my knowledge out there into a book format. Well, I had to go back into my think tank and even some of, of the information that I save from each deal and I look at, okay, what happened? What were some of the most memorable experiences where we had to combat an issue that arose or um, we had to deal with um, maybe another difficult uh, seller or another agent? Uh, whatever the case was, I, I really went back into past experiences uh, to better identify them in my book. And these are uh, the, the experiences that I share in my printed book, Think Like a Realtor. Um, and I also had to verify and confirm the statistics, right? The numbers, the factual numbers that I mentioned in my book. And I had to make sure that my sources were accurate, which they were, and I had to make sure that I that I had all my ducks in a row because if you're writing a book or any if you're or if you're even you know uh, sharing expertise for an article uh, you want to make sure that you have all your facts right and it's actually the right numbers and everything so that that those two things right diving into my past experiences as a realtor as well as uh, making sure that all my my numbers were verified and the sources are, were correct. Um, those two things were the biggest part of the research process for me when, uh, when I was looking to write my book to put it, to, put it together. Um, and that was in the rough draft phase was I made sure that I had all that accurate. My favorite thing is being able to take your thoughts, right? And turn them through a creative process into uh, what I call a rough draft at first. And that's, you wanna just get all your ideas out. And I think that's hugely important because I feel that everyone has a book in them to share, whether it's a personal experience or a professional experience or just something, whatever the case is, right? Everybody has a book inside of them and they should write that book. They should come up with that book because we all can help someone else and I think the best way is through a printed book. I just, I love reading books. And when I became an author with this book uh, and other expertise that I've shared in, in written articles, 
uh, I, it's just, it's fulfilling to me to be able to share what I know to help others. And there are people who can benefit from reading my words and they can apply it to their life. And so one of my favorite things about writing is that I can actually take thoughts, put them into a rough draft, and then come out with a final product, right? And that's a book. It could be an ebook. it can be anything, really. It's just, that's my favorite part about writing. This is a great question. I would say that you just have to get your thoughts out. Uh, don't worry so much about what the book's going to look like and all that. I know some people say you should come up with, like actually, actually design the cover first. That's not a bad idea, uh, but you want to just make sure that you just get your thoughts out. What's your topic? Have a general idea, right, of what you wanna share, and then just get the words out. Use voice dictation software, meaning you talk into a microphone and it turns your words into, your, your audio words into uh, uh, typed out words. That's what I did a lot for this book is I would have a, a random thought about something and I'm like, oh my gosh. I would go and talk into my, my cell phone that had voice dictation and it would save it into the notes app. And then when I was in front of a computer, I'd actually put that into a, a file, a word file. So just get the thoughts out, get whatever's on your mind, get it out. Then you can organize it later into sections, right? Break down your book into a rough draft that has sections. You can call them chapters, whatever, but sections that will allow you to then organize things. And you may move things around that will probably happen, but you wanna just get your thoughts out and make sure that you just get things down and then do the organization after um, and if anything actually once you're all set you have to get it proofread get your rough draft proofread so you have a rough draft that's that you feel is good uh, matter of fact I'm working on book number two it's a more personal book and I've read my rough draft probably ten times okay can't even count how many times I've read it then I send it over to my proofreader and they're going to, you know, make sure my punctuation is good and things like that. Maybe eliminate some some words that don't need to be there. Okay, have your work proofread, and then work on design after, which is the my favorite part. Where can you purchase Think Like a Realtor? This book is available, of course, on Amazon. It's available on uh, BarnesandNobles.com and anywhere else where books are sold online.